Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to change photo background with AI. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're wondering if you could change your background using an AI for free, well, it is possible via a specific website that we'll be visiting later on. Now in here, we want to use a browser for this one. So go ahead and open up any browser that you have. And from here, we want to go ahead and search for Adobe Firefly. In here, you'll have the link or first link for Adobe. So go ahead and open that up. So it's going to say generative AI here. Now it's going to give you this link here. So just close this one. Now from here, you'll be asked to log in. But if you see this UI here, no problem. Just click on Explorer Firefly Beta. So it's going to give you this menu here. So what we need to access here is the generative fill. So just click on Generate. And from here, we'll be redirected with the upload image section. So if you're not directly redirected to this specific UI here, then you'll need to log in. So no worries, creating an account or logging into your account is really easy. Like right now, I actually use my Google account. So just choose Google as the login method for Adobe Firefly and you'll have no worries for that one. Now in here, since if you're now here in this specific UI here, just click on upload image. And from here, choose the image that you want to change the background for. So in this case, I just choose this one and click on done. So it's going to load our image. Now in here, what we need to do is we want to click on the background option that you see at the bottom of our screen. So what's going to do, it's going to basically cut out a specific subject that you see here and it's going to remove that background. Now for us to save this image into uh, something that has a background or a different background, so just to give you an example, we just need to type in here the uh, prompt that we want to add or the prompt that we uh, where we want to generate our background. So in this case, let's just say city during sunset. And here, just click on generate. So it's going to start generating our image here, our background. So I do have to inform you that sometimes it's going to take a few seconds or even a few minutes, depending on the speed of the current server on your mobile device or even your internet connection takes a factor in this one. But you just need to wait for it to generate. As you can see right now, it just took me like a few seconds while I'm explaining to you. But yeah, so in here, as you can see, it's kind of cool. It has a sound, uh, sunset effect there, the CDs in the background. We also have the other prompts here. So you, you could use the second one or the third one in here. But if, you, if you're if you not satisfied with the background here, you could click on the more button that you see there. It's going to generate other images for you to try. Now in here, let's just wait for this to load up. Now here we have different outputs again. So in here, like for example, we want to use this one. So if you're satisfied with the background, just click on the keep button you see at the bottom, right? And for you to save this one, you just need to click on the three dotted icon that you see at the top, right? And from here, just click on download. And it's going to give you a few uh, pop-ups here. So it's sometimes going to give you a pop-up where it's going to ask you to confirm that you want to add content uh, tags or there's going to be a specific uh, banner or some, uh, a, a mark on your image here. So I'll be showing you what it's look like. So we've successfully just downloaded this one. Let's just go to our gallery. We're going to go to albums and we'll go to folders. So this is the photo that we have right now. So in here, as you can see at the bottom left, it's going to give us the Adobe Firefly uh, mark there. So by default, every image that you get from um, Adobe Firefly, it's going to give you that, give you that specific mark there. But yeah, so that's how you change a photo background using AI. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.